and Coach Varsha. Today we are kicking it bar style. We're doing a bar style strength and mobility workout now as opposed to flexibility where we are elongating our muscles. Mobility is when we work on the range of motion in our joints. Because if we don't do this, we become rigid. If you've ever seen one, someone walking or trying to run with a very tight shuffle, that's a lack of mobility. The lack of mobility, lack of range of motion adds to things like tripping and falling down and all that. So we're gonna work on mobility, bar style today. Absolutely no equipment is needed. We have a little bit of a balance challenge, so you may want your chair or stand next to a wall or a piece of furniture. Other than that, we are good to go. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. Ready to get after it? Let's do it. We're gonna work in increments of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. I'm gonna start my timer and our first exercise is indeed our balance challenge. So we're gonna take your outer ankle and just kind of put it up above the opposite knee. It doesn't matter how high or low you go, maybe you can hold on, maybe not. You don't have to. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna carefully, whoa, see this is why I have a chair. Sit back and feel your hips. Get a wonderful stretch in that hip joint. And we're gonna bring it up, holding on like I am, or maybe not, maybe hands are in prayer pose. Feel that base leg working to stabilize. So good for your balance right here. Just gonna slowly pulse up and down, just kind of glide up and down. Focus, very nice. Gonna switch my chair, we're gonna switch and do the other side. So outer ankle goes just above the knee, ideally, but anywhere you can get it is all good. <sighs> knee is not locked out. Hands are in prayer pose or holding on whichever weights in your heels. Your bottom base foot is gripping. Bring it down and up. And you're breathing. Get a wonderful hip stretch right here. Your hips will thank you if you keep this exercise in your routine every week. And maybe your balance is getting better now because your body is acclimating and adapting and stepping up to this challenge. And if not, keep on holding on and be consistent and stay with it and persevere and you will improve, I promise you. Okay, chair gets out of the way for now. What we're gonna do now is we're just kind of gonna gently march it out with a little bit of a hip flick. So knee comes up and we just flick that foot out. Arms can be wherever you like them. Easy breezy, we're just shifting our weight, breathing, getting the body warmed up, standing with good posture. If you wanna turn out that foot like a dancer, all good. Just knee up, flick that lower leg out. And it doesn't matter how high or low you're going. If you're down here, it's just as good as if you're up here, or maybe you're doing a rockette thing that I can't even imagine doing. It's all good. Good posture, shoulders are down away from your ears. And you're breathing. Enjoy. Core is engaged. Okay, shake it out right here. If you feel those hips from that first exercise, I do already, that means I needed it. We're gonna continue with our alternating leg flicks, but we're gonna add some arms. We're just gonna twist that spine. If you've heard me here, I've said it many times before. If you're ever feeling sluggish or in a bad mood, just get some spinal rotation going. It's an energizer and a mood booster. So we're flicking and adding some rotation, breathing, bringing that heart rate, we're just kind of warming up the body. This should feel good. Enjoy that spinal twist. Don't hold your breath. Nice flex, knee high. All right, nice job. We're gonna take it to a little series of wide plies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plie out so your toes are pointed out to the corners of the room. We're gonna pulse for two, stand it up, and we're gonna go the other way. Here we go, join me here. Pulse for two and up. Other way, pulse 
two, press up nice and strong, keep it going. Down for two, up, and keep it going. Nice hip openers again, good for the knees, good for the ankles, we're working all those lower body joints. And you're breathing, and the core is engaged. Keep on going. Nice. Arms can be doing whatever you feel like doing. If you want them out to your sides, that's good. Nice job, shake it out. We've got another exercise for those hips right here. We're gonna do some plies. We're gonna stay in the middle and we're gonna work those arms up and down. So here we're gonna get in our wide plie and here we go. So. Arms are gonna work in opposition. So when we go down, arms go up and down. It depends if you wanna go slow or fast. It's totally up to you. Maybe try some of both. Squeeze those glutes as you straighten up. Core is engaged. Nice, graceful arms. Pulse at the bottom. Sink down gently. All right, nice job. Bring your chair back, if you're using one. And we're gonna take it to the from the top with that hip opener. So outer ankle rests just above that knee. Whew, try to balance here. Hands go wherever feels good. I've got a prayer position. Just sink it down, balance, hold, and up. And again, breathing. Relax into it. Hold on where you need to. No shame in that. Balance is hard after we've done things and gotten the heart rate up. It's hard to slow down and focus now. It's a challenge, but I know you're up to it. I hope you keep some mobility work in your weekly routine. That along with balance is super important as we age. It will pay off. All right, let's switch. Last time we're seeing this, outer ankle goes just above that knee. Balance right here. Shoulders down and back. Here we go, sink it back, stick that booty out the back, and up, hold, and ease it back down. Breathing. Nice job, keep it going. Enjoy that hip opening. Your hips will thank you, I promise you. You will be rewarded with better balance as well. Our chair goes away after this. We're done with it for the rest of the workout. You're doing so great. Okay, chair goes away. Our little knee up with the little foot flick is next. No arms to start. Shake it out a little bit, get ready for that knee up. Here we go, flick and flick. Alternate legs. Breathing, great posture. Let any tension you're holding in your shoulders roll down your back. Breathe and enjoy. Feel your hamstrings getting a little workout here, your knees, your ankles. These are all places that we want good mobility, no rigid joints. Core is engaged as always. It's always working for you. Strong core is like the center of everything. It will take you a long, long way. Shake it out. We're gonna do the same movement. We're just gonna add our arms and our spinal twist. Our little mood booster you can always use help with a great mood and some good energy. Here we go. Flick and twist, just gentle. 
nothing crazy. Breathing, core's engaged. A good mood is just as close as your next workout. What is it they say? You're one workout away from a good mood? Maybe that's it. <laughs> I'm butchering it. Our plie sequence is next. And then we're moving on. Let me know in the comments what you're up to. I'd love to hear from you. Breathe. All right, shake it out. Get ready for our plie with a pulse right and left. We're gonna plie, stand it up, and then go the other way. Remember to step it out wide, feet pointed out to the corners of the room. Here we go. Plie, up strong and stand. Plie the other way, get it sink down nicely, get those hips opened up. Let your breath power it. Woo, giving it too much power. Stand nice and tall. Wide plie, press off and stand. Sink down carefully. Let's pulse for two on each side and two here. Nice, keep going. Okay, we're over. We've got our wide plie, we're gonna stay in the center and we're gonna work those arms in opposition. So when we go down, our arms go up. Do these as quickly or slowly as you see fit. Get a nice turnout and down and down. Blow it out as you sink down. Knees are open nice and wide. Weights in your heels. Shoulders are down and back. We have nice posture. Blow it out and enjoy. Can you sink down a little further than you did the first round? I bet you can. I bet your body's getting warmed up. This is definitely a workout you want to revisit and stay consistent with and you will celebrate rapid improvement. Let's take a break here, grab some water, and I will meet you down on your mat. Welcome back, thanks for joining me down here on your mat. We're gonna work in the same increments of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Join me in a tabletop position so your shoulders are over your wrists, hips are aligned with your knees. We're gonna do some cat-cow. So be, do, it'll be wonderful for the Spine. So here we are, line yourself up and we're gonna curl those shoulders, press the back up, and then sink it down, gaze goes up, let that head rock back, and again. Should feel great in your spine, very relaxing. Again, it's energizing, it's stress busting. Blow it out. Pulse up, make space between your shoulders, and then sink it back. Nice, nice job. We're gonna stay in this tabletop, and we're gonna do a leg lift with a hip circle. So let's start with that right leg extended. We're gonna lift it out to that back corner of the room. So it's gonna be leg lift, bring it in. So it's leg lift, bring it in, circle the hip, stick it out again, lift, Circle, keep going, lift, tap that toe down, bring that leg in, circle that hip, keep going. All on the right to start. We're not arching our back. Great for the hip mobility here. Great for the glute, making that glute work. Keep going. Nice, nice job. Shake it out here, get ready to go on the other side. We're gonna lift that leg toward that left back corner of the room and then do a hip circle. Extend
Extend that leg, get ready to lift. Your gaze is out of your mat in front of you. Here we go, lift, bring it in. Circle it around clockwise. Again, lift in and circle, breathing. Enjoy. Circle. Make that glute work. Oh, yes. Lift and circle. Nice job. Now we're going to do some fire hydrants. So we're going to lift that knee up to the side. But after we do the hydrant, we're going to step up like this. So it's hydrant down. Then we're going to bring that foot next to your hands. You're still kneeling with the back leg and we're going to open. Send it back to tabletop. Do the other side. Hydrant down. Step up and open. Open up that chest and shoulders. Hydrant, step up, stretch that hip flexor, open, back to tabletop, hydrant on the other side, step it up and open, send it back, hydrant, and step up, open, enjoy, other side, hydrant, step up, Nice, nice job. And we're going to finish it up with some clamshells on the left and right. So get on your, well, not my left side, but you can do whatever side you want. Bottom leg, we're going to bend the knee so it's perpendicular to your body. Got our elbow. And we're just going to open and open. So your, your top toe is touching your bottom foot. Just get a good open in that hip. Exhale as you open. Breathing. You could use a resistance band here if you wanted a little extra challenge. We're not doing that today, but feel free to do so. These are our clamshells, great hip strengthener, great for hip mobility. We've done so much good for the hips today. They are going to thank you. Open, all right. Shake it out, spin it around. Let's get the other side. Bend that bottom knee perpendicular to your body. Those toes meet. We're gonna open at the knee right here. Open, breathing, keep going. After this, we're gonna take it from the top of the second part with our tabletop cat cow. Get some good range of motion here, really open that hip. You can slow it down, we're not racing at all. And you're breathing and the core is engaged. The core is always stabilizing. Nice work. All right, shake it out. Meet me for that cat cow in tabletop right here. Get nicely aligned. Get ready to curl it up so we make space between our shoulders on our back. Here we go. Curl, tuck the hips under, and release. And again. Breathe. Show love to your spine. Nice job, keep going. All right, nice job, shake it out. We're gonna revisit our leg lift at the diagonal with that hip circle. 
So meet me in tabletop. We're gonna extend that right leg out. Here we go. Leg lift and circle. Keep going. Lift and circle. Feel that in the hip, in the glute. It's really gonna tone and tighten that area of the body, which is always a good thing. Gaze is out of the mat in front of you. In a nice wide circle. Great job. Shake it out a little bit. Get ready to go on the other side. And we're going to curl those toes under for a little bit. All right, extend that leg, get ready to work. And here we go, hip lift, hip circle, and lift, and circle, keep going. No need to race these, we can do these nice and slow. Great job. Great job. Our hydrant with the step up is next. Well, this time let's do two hydrants before we step up. So find, meet me in tabletop right here, align yourself. Get ready to go on the right side with two hydrant lifts. Here we go. Hydrant, hydrant. Step up, open, and back. Let's go on the left here for two. Hydrant, hydrant, step it up, up, open. Enjoy that hip flexor stretch. Back to tabletop again. Two hydrants, step it up, open, back and down. Other way, two, and step it up open look at that ceiling nice job exhale step it up nice nice job and what's left nothing but the clams this time let's do a little variation that bottom leg is the bottom knee is bent what we're gonna do now instead of opening well, let's alternate opening and then lifting up so it comes from the hip in two different ways. Clam and lift. Join me here, clam, lift. Keep going just like this. So we'll strengthen the hip as well as help it maintain and increase its mobility. Lift, core is tight and lift and open. You got it. Resting on that forearm. Lift. And as I said before, feel free to add an ankle weight or a resistance band if you want a little extra challenge here. All right, swing it around, change sides. We are almost done, my friends. Bottom knee is bent. We're going to do alternating clam and lift just like we did on the other side. Clam is first, ready to go. Here we go. Clam and hip lift. Keep it going. Blow it out as you lift. You got it. All good. I'm so proud of you for showing up today. You're showing up for yourself. Stay consistent. Like I always say, that's the second hardest part. The hardest part is showing up and you already nailed that. So now just be consistent and you will make progress and see all the results, all the goals you set for yourself. Keep breathing, we are almost there, my friends. This was your bar style, strength and mobility workout. And I think your hips are really gonna thank you for this one. All right, 
We are all set. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe so we can continue to get strong for summer. I will see you next time.